Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I'm having a look at an early access game by the name of LEGO Worlds. Here it is in all its glory. So I'm going to show you about 10 minutes or so of just random wandering around gameplay. Here's me. I'm a warlock. Here's my world. This is Shed World. So let's go in and have a little wander. I'm going to run you through some of the key features. I haven't got much time. But I hope to be able to show you enough stuff for you to make your own mind up about whether you would like to play this game. Here's my warlock. Woo! And uh, you start off with a basic, a basic minifigure, um, but you can earn more and uh, well, unlock a whole array of goodies. Here's the stuff I've unlocked. This is essentially my kit bag. 136 props. I've got one full set. 56 brick builds, 10 vehicles, 14 creatures, 26 minifigures, and 6 items. So let me show you the characters first of all. Now how do you unlock these people? You come across them in a map, in this, in this world, in this sandbox world, and you walk up to them and that's it, you unlock them. Now, currently I am Warlock, I shall show you him momentarily. I've unlocked Girl, Boy, Motorcycle mechanic, zombie male, yeti, warlock, police officer male, skeleton, vampire, police officer female, pirate male, outlaw male, farmer male, fisherman, mummy, diver male, cowgirl, cowboy, scientist female, caveman, cavewoman, surfer girl, warrior woman, Custom A, this is who I started with. Paleontologist and Explorer. Oh, maybe I didn't start off with him. I started off with him. This is just a duplicate. Uh, there you go, yeah, see? Uh, so this was a random character creation I accidentally did by pressing... Uh, where is it? Here. Character Customizer. You can go into here. And you can just start messing around with any of the character stuff you've unlocked. So I could put, uh, what should we have on him? Baseball cap. Uh, go back. Yeah, there you go. So let's um, let's show you some of the characters I have unlocked. For example, Mr. Warlock. Now, if I press the X button, I get to shoot a fireball, and it destroys stuff. Boom! So that is a very, very cool character to unlock. Um, the skeleton. I like him. When he punches, he screams. See, I should have maybe given you a heads up on that one. Um, vampire. This is one of the coolest... Oh, hello. I pressed the wrong button. Uh, I'll tell you about this in a minute. Um, yeah. Don't need to do that just yet. Uh, let's... Get rid of this. Let's be him. Uh, yeah. Right. So, here's the vampire. Doesn't he look cool? Now, if I press the B button, something even cooler happens. So, here's my punch. Just a standard punch and an uppercut. If I press my B button, turn into a bat. And then if I tap the X button, I can fly. I can fly anywhere at all. Press the B button again, I drop, press it again, and I change back. Just to let you know, you can ride any animal in this. There you go, I'm on a horse. I am on a horse. Press the X button um, on some animals, and they attack, which is cool. Right, so that's the vampire and the warlock you've seen. Um, who else has got cool stuff? Uh, shut up. Uh, show you the pirate. He's one of my funniest. His idle screen there. Kind of uh, searching for other ships in the area. Cleans off his uh, his stump with his hook. Uh, I think he just looks awesome. This guy, Outlaw Male, he has a very cool feature. If you look to the right of the screen, you can see a black horse. Okay, so if I press the... B button right now. Check this out. Ready? He whistles and his trusty steed comes tearing along. Very nice. So 
some of these have got unique features, some don't. Um, I've never actually been the warrior woman. I don't know what she does. Not much. Um, what's cowgirl do? Ah, she can call for a horse as well. Oh, look at that. Nice. There you go. Now I've unlocked the white horse. Because I hadn't actually seen the white horse before. So that music indicates that I have just unlocked something. Right. I like her. She's cool. Um, let's pick somebody else. Let's be the uh, motorcycle mechanic. Just because... Uh, I don't know. He's got a tattoo. Really, really rubbish tattoo. So, when you're wandering around... Uh, if you punch things, you get studs. And studs will help you unlock stuff. So... Just because you bumped into something and added it here, doesn't mean it's unlocked. Such as this. Here's the animals I have um, added to my inventory. But you can see some of them have studs on them. It's because I haven't unlocked them yet. So I found the husky earlier today. I haven't purchased him yet. So let's purchase him for 1,750. Now all animals you can ride. So I shall show you this. So I bought him. If I click on him again, I will spawn him. Bosh. Oh, good boy. There you go. Look at my little husky. He's so cool. He's rapid. If I leave him, there you go. You just pet him. And if I press the uh, X button, he woofs. Oh, and uh, woof, woof, woof. Uh, let me show you a couple of others. Uh, you've seen the horse. Let's show you the black and white ball. So, uh, hang on. To do this, you need to jump off your current animal. Uh, oh, keep on doing that. Alright, let's uh, spawn a cow. I don't really want to... I uh, don't really want to make a cow. Oh, guess I will. Right. Come here. Bosh. There you go. I am now riding a cow. I love the animation of this cow. This bull. So there you go. If I press the X button, he charges. So let's go and try and charge something and kill it. There you go, these roses. Pow. All right, so that's the cow. Now I'll show you my favorite, or one of my favorites, is the goat. Let me uh, jump off. Let's spawn a goat. And there's my goat. Yeehaw! Goats are mental. Look at this. They bound through the place. And when you... Uh, if you press the... Press the X button. He headbutts. There you go. He's headbutted through those plants. And... That's... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show you uh, one of the most impressive. One of the most impressive animals is the dragon. Um... Actually, before I show you the dragon, let me show you the emu, uh, the ostrich. Check this out. Now, tell me that isn't funny. And uh, what happens if you press the X button with Mr. Ostrich? Oh, wait, stop eating. Get your head out. Okay, he just leaps forward. Um, okay, so... Right. Let's go on to uh, possibly... Possibly, so far... Of the unlocked bits and pieces. I've got to say, this has got to be my favourite. The dragon. The dragon. Tap X. And you take off. So let's do some exploring while we are the dragon. Look at the cherry blossom. And guess what? The dragon has an attack. So I press X. And again, it's a fireball. Now, this sandbox game is split into multiple sort of areas. At the moment, I'm in a sort of just abandoned grassland area. Um, so over this way, I am going towards a more snowy area. There's jungles, there's forests, there's desert, there's sort of urban areas, there's tons and tons and tons that I've seen at least I haven't seen everything there's a sort of ghostly world with filled with skeletons there's a lava world filled with dragons and 
and uh, warlocks. Um, there's absolutely tons. I've only played this for a couple of hours, but what I've seen so far is so impressive. Right, you can run around on the dragon like it was, you know, a car or whatever. Um, Mr. Goat, hello. Let's hop off here. And let me talk to you about... Let's change the character first. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Let's be this old fisherman. Looks like Captain Birdseye. So then you get vehicles. Now, so far I have found these vehicles. A speedboat, a plane, a helicopter, a hot rod, tractor, digger. So if you're planning on building in this game, that's going to be key. A car, essentially a sports car. A small digger, very handy for building. A buggy and a steamroller. So let's uh, jump in the car. Nearly crashed that. Very easy to drive. It doesn't sound amazing, but very handy. Very, very handy indeed. So that's the car. Um, so all the vehicles are down there for you to unlock. Um, then you've got your items. Uh, for example, a gun. And uh, let's just say, there you go, six items. There you go. Shot a load of plants and I get my studs if I can get there in time there you go so really good fun pow um, what else do we have we have brick build so they have pre-made a load of um, items for you already so if you want to build let's say for example a gingerbread house we click it we plant it where we want so we're going to plant it there press the uh, make button and I love this animation so cool there goes Captain Birdseye making a gingerbread house of course not all builds are automatic you can build stuff yourself should you so wish uh, let me get out of here Exit, and let's go and explore. There's my new gingerbread house, complete with licorice all sorts inside. Wonderful. Um, so what else have you got? You've got complete model kits. Um, so I don't know how many there will be, or if this will be DLC or whatever, but there you go. There's kit 31038. Now it's worth, if you get these in the game, just build them straight away, because they come with new items. So this is where I got the sports car from, and a couple of characters. And this, last of all, is where you get some other bits and pieces to build. Outside of this, here is your creator mode. So I'll click that. Then there's all your shapes of Lego. And uh, then you can change your colour. So let's have a yellow. Uh, I said yellow. There you go. Then you build a brick like that. Let's move. Uh, let's go over here. You can spin them round. You can do whatever you want. And essentially, if you want to build your favorite Lego kit in here, you can. Um, it's completely up to you. Um, I haven't spent a lot of time in this mode, but um, perhaps I should. Because uh, you could, potentially, if you've got time, you could essentially make a really, really intricate model. And I've seen some stuff people have done, and it's amazing. So I'm going to leave this here, guys. I'm going to leave it up to you and your imagination. But if you would like to see me play more of this, do drop a comment below. So thanks for watching. And until the next time, I'll see you later.